like why math i think incorporating the mindset of hard work and the growth mindset in general like hey a lot of people don't like math a lot of people aren't good at math or they don't understand it and i'm less about hey you gotta do well you gotta do this because you gotta get good grades so you go to college i'm not like that at all i'm more like hey see this as an opportunity to challenge yourself see how you can face this challenge even though it may not you may be thinking in your mind when am I ever going to use this in real life? And one, I'd like to argue that this is basic math. So you definitely will use basic math. Mm -hmm. But the second part is, let's say you want to be like an NBA player, whatever their dreams are, you are training your mind to have that kind of work ethic where you can face adversity and you can push yourself to do stuff. Like I love working out and stuff, but I also don't love going to the gym. Going to the gym, sometimes I want to do it, sometimes I don't. But if I let my emotions control my actions, I'll never reach my goals. So even the days that I don't feel like going, I push myself to go because I've trained my brain to do that. So I try and message, relay that message to my kids and be like, hey, you may not want to do this assignment right now. It may be kind of boring or tedious, but if you can push through and get the work done, you're training your mind to really push yourself through those emotions and you're doing what you need to do in order to reach your goals. And you can apply that into your life in any area of your life. So it's like those little moments where I feel like in math, I can really like teach about life even though it's a math class. I do see a lot of growth in my students. Like I just have like a list of kids at the beginning of the year, they're F students. And they even told me too, like halfway through the year, like Mr. Bresney, I'll be honest with you. I really didn't like you that much and I thought you were a really bad teacher. <laughs> I was failing and I blamed you, but after all your Mindset Mondays, because every Monday I do like mindset lessons, yep. where I realized that it was my fault. I was the reason why I was failing. I wasn't putting in the work. I wasn't paying attention in class. I wasn't doing the homework and studying. And once I started doing that, I started getting D's and C's and B's. And then the kid that was failing by the end of the year, he got like an A on a test. He got like a B on a quiz. He was getting good grades and he was super pumped up. I was like, dude, that is it right there. Take that mindset and apply it to anything you want to do in life. Yeah. It's not a math. It's you have the ability to do it and you just proved it. I see it as a challenge. Like, I'm going to get this kid to like believe in himself. I kind of like that he's failing right now or <laughs> she, whoever it is. Uh, that's yeah. probably the best answer for the question. What am I going to do with this in my life? Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But because the question everyone asks yourself this question, like, what do I need this for? I, that's exactly yep. what you, it's it's something more metaphysical than than anything else